Hello everybody, this is Petey from Bergzig Arcade at BergzigArcade.net and here we are back again with another RPG character controller episode. So let's go, we're going to jump right into Unity. Uh, we left off, we actually got our first exposure to blend trees. And let's go ahead, we'll move this back up here. There we go, so we made our first blend tree which really just blends our walk to run. And we're doing this here because I know later on we're going to need different layers of organization and this is just a quick and easy way to do it. And today we're going to take it one step further. I'm going to go jump into our blend tree. I'm going to go ahead and add another motion. And I showed how to add motions by clicking here. You can actually click, right click on the blend tree to add one as well. And that goes ahead and adds it down here. I'm actually going to add the idle animation here. And eventually I would like to find some walk backwards animations and maybe, well, I don't know if I'll do run backwards, but anyway, I'll add these here as well. But we have this empty one here, so I'm going to come down to our animations. I want to find idle. Whoops, right here. We'll go ahead, open that up, drag it in here. And now we've got to change the way this is ordered. So I'm going to go ahead, open this up. I'm going to put walk at, um, I don't know, 0.25. I'm going to do idle at zero. And standard run, we'll do at one. So if we take a look here, uh, there's a shorter distance between the blend here. I might even actually go a little bit closer. Point one, that's what we normally have it set to. So he'll ramp really quickly from idle to walk, and then a little bit slower to build up from walk to run. I like to go ahead and click that as well, just so I don't have to worry about accidentally changing that. And we'll go ahead and hit play here. We'll take a look at it. So as we see here, it's just playing the idle animation. You can tell because it's lit up. And as he starts moving forward, there we go. We start moving forward, 0.22. And let's stop this. Hmm, for some reason, I went to 0.5. Will it not keep 0.1 if I... Okay, so it automatically defaults to the center. Not what I want. So let's go there, we'll go ahead, hit play again. And at zero, he's idle. Point one, full walk, anything in between there. is a blend, so you can walk really slow if you want. Later on, we'll figure out how to make him hunch over and walk like an old man, maybe. <laughs> and of course, we start ramping up as you move the slider all the way up to his full run. Great, so now that we have that, let's go ahead and we'll pause this. Let's jump back out. And this blend tree, I'm gonna go ahead and make this my default now. And I'm just gonna get rid of this. I no longer need that one. Now, when we do get into looking at substates, we'll probably end up moving this to a substate as well. And since we do have this set up uh, kind of the way I like it, I'm gonna go ahead and rename this blend tree. And uh, we'll do that up here. And I'm gonna call it idle. Can we put slashes? I don't think so. I'll just call it idle walk run. Or locomotion if you really want to call it that. And this should still work the exact same. Let's go ahead, we'll jump into our game. We'll start it back up. And he's just idle. And of course, we'll start walking and running. Now feel free to play with, let's jump right back in. Feel free to play with uh, the settings here to get the, the desired movement you want. But before you do, we're actually gonna switch all of this over again. You see how we set it up to walk, uh, island run, but now we're gonna change it a bit. I'm actually gonna get rid of all three of these now. Isn't that fun? <laughs> uh, we'll get rid of the other one, and I'm gonna go ahead and add another one. But this time I'm gonna add a blend tree. And let's go ahead and we'll add three of them. And can you figure out what these blend trees are for? I'll start off with the first one. And I'm going to call it idle. I'm going to keep it as 1D. Uh, we are going to need a new parameter now. So I will come over here. This is where we're going to make our turn. Yeah, let's go ahead. We'll work with turn first. So we'll do float. I'm going to call my turn. And I mentioned before, I like to keep them together. And this is what we're going to work on here. And as soon as we add it, we notice we have another one down here. 
And if we go ahead and switch that back real quickly, it only uh, we can only work on forward with this, but of course, once we add this, now we can work on both. Now, I'm not sure why this pops up. Uh, saying that the parameter does not exist, but it does. I've created it, but it still works, so I'm just gonna ignore it for now. So we'll go ahead with set up to turn, and I actually have the wrong tree selected, don't I? This one here is forward. This one works on turn. There we go. And I'm gonna do the same for all three of these new trees. And this is another caveat of mine. I really wish I could move these around, but I can't. But we'll just have to live with it. So let's start off with idle. I'm gonna go ahead, add a motion to it. And we'll go ahead, we'll drag our idle up here. Leave it at zero. Let's move it over. I'm gonna go ahead and select the second blend tree. I'm gonna call this one walk. I'll add a motion. And well, I bet you can guess which one we're gonna put in. I'll put walk. I'm gonna leave it at zero again. And I'll come down to this last blend tree. And can you guess? Run. And of course, we'll add a motion. And we'll add the run motion. Great. And let me just quickly check here. I do have to change the thresholds here. So at zero, I want it to be idle. At point one, I want to walk. And at run, we'll do a one. And if you take note here, as you're changing the values, they always list them in the order of the threshold, at least with this current version of you need to have. So if I change this to, I don't know, 0 0.05, you can see it's above walk now. So don't try to drag and drop it when you've got these thresholds set because uh, it won't work. And of course, if I click this, it defaults to that. I wish it did. But anyway, I'll go ahead, I'll leave it unchecked. I want point 0.1. And with this blend selected, I'm gonna hit play. And for the forward, I'm just gonna start moving. So it works just like it did before. And if we go ahead and pay attention to the one that's lit up here, as you slide across, you can see how it blends from one to the other. Clear that out. And let's start working on turning. We'll shrink these ones down. And right now, the only turns I really have are ones for being idle. And we'll start off with the turn left. Let's pause this. And I've been playing around with it a bit. So here are the settings that I have. I'll just go ahead and leave it there. Pause the video if you need to. But that's my settings for turn left. So I'm going to come up to the idle tree here. Of course, we can double click it just to only see this. And it does help. So I'm going to add two more motions here. One for turning left, one for turning right. So I'll take the left one. We'll drag it into one. And we'll come down, take a look at the right here. Again, pause the video if you need to. This is how I have this one set up. And we'll go ahead, select that blend tree again. Take the right, oh, I should have opened it up. Turn right. And we'll go ahead, we'll drag that in. We'll uncheck automatic threshold. Idle is still gonna be zero, but turn left is gonna be negative one. And turn right is gonna be one. For the input that we're putting in, remember that the value can go anywhere from negative one to one. So we're gonna use those negative numbers to tell us to turn left. So if we go ahead and hit play down here, he's just standing there. But as we move this, we'll start turning left. Now we can turn right, left, right. And I don't really like how he just turns left a little bit, but in our game, we're never gonna have that anyway. So let's go ahead and add this to the script so that we can control this variable. So we'll jump into our movement script that we created before. And I do have a turning up here, which is great. We'll come down here. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll put it above walking. So avoid turning. And all I'm gonna do is uh, pretty much the exact same thing that I have down here. Except we'll change the value of um, 
what we're going to be playing with. So instead of forward, we're going to be doing turn. And the axis we're going to work with will be, uh, let's go with horizontal. Then we'll have to come up here. And I'm just going to add it to the top. So we'll make sure that we're calling that turning function. We'll save that off. We'll come back in. I want to go to the scene view. Let's go ahead, hit start. And there we go. We can turn in game now. At least on the spot. We still got to find animations that allows us to turn while running. But we can do it at least while we're stopped. We may actually want to increase that speed as well. <laughs> Die boxes. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and take a look, see if we tried to use this turning animation for our run. We'll come back out. We're going to go into walk. And I'm just going to add one more. Well, we'll go ahead and we'll add two, just like before. And we'll go ahead, add the left, add the right. And it just dawned on me that I should have actually done run since walk doesn't trigger very much. So let's actually do that. We'll click on the run one. So actually now that I've started adding these up here, they have separated a bit, which I like. But still, I'd still like to be able to drag and drop, move these around the way I want. But anyway, let's not get distracted. We'll go ahead, we'll add those two. We'll go ahead, add the right. And apparently I didn't click it right. There we go, we need the left. I'll untick that, make sure that the left is negative one and the right is one. And that means standard run is zero. And we'll jump back into our scene and we'll hit play. We'll start running and then if we try to turn. <laughs> Not exactly what we want. Uh, we can play around with blends a little bit later. But I just wanted to show how we're actually going to start forming these hierarchies. And of course, later on, we have to come back into our base later. I do want to make sub states. But that's all I want to show in this video. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You're a pretty chatty guy over there. When I'm not walking through a forest or being stalked by eagles and falcons, lions, tigers, and bears. <laughs>